Amelia Earhart was the first woman ever to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. She was also the first person to fly from Hawaii to the US mainland. During an attempt to circumnavigate the globe, Earhart suddenly disappeared somewhere over the Pacific Ocean in July 1937. Her plane wreckage was never found and she was officially declared lost at sea. Earhart's disappearance remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. Up to this day, there have been speculations that she survived the crash and landed in the Marshall Islands. It is believed that she was taken prisoner by the Japanese there. There were even witnesses claiming that they saw her and heard her voice. Other witnesses say that they saw her being executed by the Japanese. Hi Amelia, welcome to Summer Studios. This is your first time here? Is that correct? Hi, yes, it's so nice to be here. And yes, it is my first time here. <coughs> well, we've been waiting to get an interview with you. You're quite a celebrity now, you know? Is there anything that you would like to share? Any hobbies in particular? Well, yes. Um, I was born in Kansas the summer of 1897. And I lived with my grandparents until I was 12. After that, me and my sister Muriel went to live with our parents in Iowa. And in 1914, my dad had a bit of a drinking problem. And my mother took me and my sister to live with friends in Chicago. Um, I never really liked alcohol after that. But um, I grew up with dogs. I've always loved dogs. They've always been there for me. And... Oh, I can't forget, uh, in 1909, I saw my first airplane, and I've been in love with everything, loving them ever since. I see, very interesting indeed. And if I may ask, how did you get from, well, there to here, where you stand today? Um, in winter of 1920, um, I saw my first airplane show, and I took my first airplane ride, and as soon as we left the ground, I, I knew I had to fly. So I started to take lessons at Bert Kinner's Airfield in Long Beach Boulevard in Los Angeles. And on December 15, 1921, I received my license from NNA, or National Aeronautics Association. Mm -hmm. And by working part-time as a file clerk, office assistant, <laughs> Photographer and truck driver. Yeah, I know a lot of things. And with the help from my mom, I eventually bought my own plane. Ah, I wish I had the chance to buy my own plane. Sponsored by Air, Air Goldways. So, you were the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. Is that something you're proud of? Well, yes, um, I've actually flown across twice, but the first time I was a passenger with other men and I got a lot of attention for something that wasn't really that great of an accomplishment. But the second time I flew, I flew solo and that, on the other hand, is a great accomplishment. I believe it is a big step in women's rights that a woman can fly a plane. It's always been that a woman can't fly a plane. It's always considered to be manlier. And I believe now more women can step forward and fly. It's it's actually very funny. It's it's all because of my dog, James. He was actually the inspiration. So I got all my courage from him to be the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. I also have a dog. But anyways, I heard you plan on circumnavigating the globe. Is that something you're excited to do? Or it must be a big step for mankind. Well, yes, I'm actually, I'm leaving just in a few days and I'm, I'm very excited. Well, you must be careful. We in Summer Studios would really like to have you again after you finish your trip. Well, I assure you, I will come again and then I will be the first person that will have circumnavigated the globe. Well, that sums up our time here today. I thank you for coming here. Thanks for having me. As mentioned before, this was the last interview before Amelia's mysterious disappearance. This is Susan Smith with the Chicago Federal Bureau of Investigation.